Yeah. Who's that? Daddy. Daddy. Is that Wyatt? Yeah, for you. And that's me. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. It's Maggie. Grammy with a hammer. Today, just the Grammy part. No hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I got modeling clay for children off of Timu. So my thought was we could make some stuff with the Play-Doh. Yeah. And then once it air dries, I could seal it with epoxy. You can do that, right? We're going to find out if that will work. No way. It'll be fun. You want to make mommy some presents? Yes. Okay, so we're going to make mommy some presents because we don't go home till tomorrow. So I think if we do it now, let it air dry and then just put a thin coat of epoxy over the top of it for overnight, it should be set tomorrow night. So follow along as we do this. Yeah. You want the green one first? Yes. How do we open these? Yeah. We'll see how these work. Okay, so they're very light. Okay, so I'm going to do some pink ones. Here, let me open up a bunch for you, okay? And you smoosh them and make stuff for mommy with them, okay? I thought since I've been making pink stuff for your cousin Allison, I'll make another pink thing for cousin Allison. I'm going to do the pink ones. I do the pink ones. I'm going to give you the purple one. No, my one back to you. You want that one? You want me to open it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to give you. I want purple too. You want purple too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah! They're, they're weird. They're kind of foamy feeling. Okay. My budget. Oh, oh no, you dropped it. My fly. Can you get it? Bye, Mom. You're going to go get it? Oh, okay. Mom, okay. up, down. Up, down. Okay, what you going to make for Mommy? Purple. Purple? Does Mommy like purple? My time. Oh, I get this. Okay, you're going to use a little plastic Play-Doh knife. Be careful. I don't know if this will work or not, but this could be... Sharp. That's sharp. No, I'm not going to. Okay, I got that one. My two. No, no, leave it there. It's got to dry. Look. Yeah. <gasps> Is that what you're making for mommy? Yes. Okay, we'll put it there to dry. You going to make one for daddy now? No. You're not making one for daddy? Yes, I did it. You're going to do that one? That one's going to be for daddy? I like that one, too. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. What? Like you're taking it? I kind of see a pattern here. Well, we got to put it into something besides just a snake. It's a name on bites. It won't bite. Look. Look. <gasps> you're going to make a snake with it too? You help me the name. I can help you make a snake. Okay. So we take it and we roll it and we roll it yes. and we roll it yes. and we roll it and we roll it and roll it and we roll it. Is that long enough snake? No. It needs more. to be longer? Yes. What are you going to do with it once we get it all rolled out? Okay. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. No. Well, broken. It's not broken. That's just the end of it. What do you want to do with it now? We got it all rolled out. Yeah, up, up. Touch up, it. up. <laughs> yeah. 
So while I realize this is riveting watching, I'm going to stop you all here for now. And I will come back to you and tell you how long it takes for this stuff to dry. When we start to epoxy Whoa. it. Well, I'll be epoxying it. He won't be with me when I'm epoxying it. Because that's not good for him. Okay. Wow. And I can show you some of our artwork we did out of clay. So, see you later. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I look like I'm a little bit crooked. Maybe a little bit crooked. And I got this. Don't laugh. This is not some weird bra for my boobs. I got this chest thingy for it. So, hopefully it'll show it. Okay. And then because I prepare so well, I ran out of cups to mix epoxy in. So, but my first thought was, I'm going to take um, this paint marker and I wanted to put, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to take this paint marker and I want to put an A on this one for Allison. Because my thought is that this will be like a little jewelry holder thing for her vanity. But can you see that? That A? And then maybe we'll put like cakes. So this is that supposed to be like air dry modeling clay from Timu. It was a couple bucks. So we're going to see how that works. I don't know if it's completely dry or not, but my thought was, now we have the issue that I can't really measure this because I don't have a way to measure it. So I'm just going to put like that much. Which is like my thumb thickness. Yes, I know I just did that. And then I'm gonna put just to, and then I'm gonna put like my thumb thickness again. Like right there. So it should be like two thumbs. That's about right. So now we're gonna see how idiot proof this stuff is. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up with a glue stick. My thought is that I'm gonna use um, like a paintbrush to paint it on and then I've got it on like this grill thing so that the epoxy will drip down. So, but we gotta stir it to try to stir out all the bubbles and to mix it really well. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush. And then for a, what do you call it, like a comparison, I took, this is what he made. He mixed them all up. So it's very colorful. I sprayed this with the clear, oh, you know what, I got this on. I should do this here. Oh my God, I must look like a damn fool sitting there trying to raise my boobs up. But anyway, so that on it. So we're going to comparison, see if either one of them get hard. It's because I'm thinking that like this should work, right? But so that's my thought. So he's in the house with the other grandma because I didn't think it'd be appropriate for him to be out here. And then like this, we're doing an 80s day at work at the end of the month. So that's like neon green. So I thought that would make like a cool bangle bracelet, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Okay. So that was my thought. And then my question is going to be, I did like this little heart. I did a tube. So, and I got a T for Tyler. So, but I thought I would take this paintbrush, see if this works. You can tell me what you think. So what do you think? You think this is going to work? So I'm gonna do just the insides right now. 
and then hopefully, because it's in the garage, because it can't be in the house, because it can't fumigate the family. And then I'm hoping it'll be dry by morning and I can flip it over and do the other side and see if that works. If that works and it should turn them hard. It's my thought. But I don't know if this will work or not. I don't know if I'm using too much. Okay. And then I'm going to do the beads. Now these, I'm worried they're going to stick to the paper. And I can't find my silicone sheets either. Yikes, sugar loaf. Okay. I can't figure out where I put my silicone sheets. So we got that issue too. Okay, so then I've got these. Okay, so don't worry, this extra um, epoxy isn't going to go to waste. I'll put it in a mold. But I've got these sitting drying. So we're going to let these sit and cure and then I will come back and flip it to the other side so probably tomorrow morning I'll come and flip it to the other side either that or later tonight but I'll let you know because I'll film it but we'll see what happens okay see you in a bit bye I'm back so it's the next morning can you see it's got a little bit of a shine to it I don't know if you can because of my lights so this top layer has all got shines on it. So um, what I'm so I must have done all right mixing it up with my wonky way of measuring. So some of that is like thumb, which I realize not everyone has the same size thumb. What I also just realized is I don't have a paintbrush here with me. You will have to go get a paintbrush. Handy dandy glue stick. I, why am I using glue stick to stir with? I've got popsicle sticks. <sighs> okay, so I'm stirring the epoxy. And then I couldn't find a smaller paintbrush, so I'm making a smaller paintbrush. And yesterday I used foam, I uh, used bristles. This time I'm gonna use foam. Oh no, this is a problem. See that, the pink stuck, got some epoxy and it stuck to this. I, sh I need to find my silicone mats. Oh no. Okay, yeah, the foam will... It's not it's supposed to be modeling clay. It's not really modeling clay. It's really like foam. Yeah, my um, bead thingies. Ah! They all had a rough time. Let me try to see if this tea will come undone. Oh no. Tyler's T may end up being a L. Okay. See, now that looks like hot. That looks terrible. See, look at that. Okay, you've got to use silicone mats. See, I didn't use silicone mats, and mine look rough. Start with filling in that crack, see if it makes a difference. Okay. So I'm going to... Paint a little dish.
Oh, and I remembered the word I was looking for. Control. So this is the control. This is what the grandson made that I sprayed with some of my gloss. And then he decided it needed glitter last night, so we put glitter on it. So. Okay. So that's his. Doesn't seem very tough. But. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use a leftover of this epoxy on other stuff so it doesn't go to waste. Don't you worry. And this stuff should dry soon. Okay, I'm back. Everything's dry. So I try to make it a little bit pretty here. I don't know if you can see it on this tray. Let's see. Okay. So... Okay, so I made them all to look like, most of them to look like ring trays. So this is the one I did with the little A on it. They're still very lightweight, but I don't know if you can hear that. And they're still a little bit soft. They're not completely hard. So I don't know. And then it's got this little tear in the back from where it was on the metal. The front looks cute with like a little ring on it see and then this is the heart shape this is the heart shape i made so it's got that tear on the back that was from the metal but here's a bowl um again it's just two-tone the ring inside so it worked i will have to say that it worked and they came out awfully cute but I'm going to do it with the tea because I'm not happy with how the tea came out anyway, so I'm going to just crush it. See? It doesn't harden it. So, crumbles it, but it's not hardened. So, I don't know if that's because of the clay or... The epoxy, but I think it's the clay. I I think this Timu modeling clay for kids didn't dry. So, um, I don't know. Now I'm wondering what I should do. What could I do to harden this up? Because, I mean, they did come out awfully cute, didn't they? I mean, I'm going to put the GoPro close to them. So you could step that. Instead of looking at me, you can look at it. No, not, I don't know what that means. Okay. Let's see. This is the bracelet. Little A. So, I mean, they came out cute as can be. But, you know, they're not, they're very still squishy, even with the resin on them. So, I don't know. I really hoped it would harden them. I mean, it's, you can hear it. They're a little bit hard here, but they're not super hard. So, anyway, so that's what happens when you use the modern clay from Timu, the kids' bottling clay and you put resin on it or epoxy on it or whatever what is the correct term for it is it resin is it epoxy is it epoxy resin i don't know but anywho so tried this out didn't work that well but we're good um so i hope you had a great holiday thank you for watching my next video i'll let you know how the mri came out okay Oh, grandbaby, where'd he go? He went home to his mama. So, thanks for watching. Bye.